Hello, my name is Dr. Kara Scheinart, and I am a stroke neurologist at the Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York City. Today, we're going to be talking about stroke, the treatment of stroke, and what to do if you think you're having a stroke. So I will get started on those topics now. With regard to how a stroke is treated, first, we must recognize the symptoms and signs of stroke. So there's an acronym, BEFAST, B-E-F-A-S-T. And these symptoms are of sudden onset. So if someone you're with or you suddenly develop these symptoms, you'll wanna call 911 and go to the emergency room as soon as possible. So the B is for balance. So if you have trouble with your balance, if you're unsteady, the E is for eyes. So if you develop vision changes, double vision or blurry vision or loss of vision. F is for face. So if you develop a droopy face on one side, A is for arm or leg. If you develop weakness in your arms and legs, especially on one side of the body or numbness on one side of the body. S is for speech. So if you develop slurred speech, have trouble getting your words out or don't understand what's being said to you. And T is for time. Time is brain. So the more, most, more quickly you can get to the emergency room, the more quickly you can be evaluated for treatment. So call 911. When you get to the emergency room, you will be quickly evaluated by a stroke neurologist and team. They will review your medical history, your medications, your symptoms, and do a physical and neurologic exam. You will very quickly get a brain imaging study, such as a CAT scan or an MRI. If you're having the type of stroke, which is called an ischemic stroke, where a blood clot blocks the flow of blood to the brain and deprives the brain of oxygen and nutrients, then you may be eligible to receive a treatment called intravenous TPA, which we'll talk about later, which is a clot busting medication that can help dissolve that clot and restore blood flow to the brain and reduce disability and improve outcome. After you've had a stroke, you will be followed by a stroke neurologist. And what's most important is prevention of another stroke from occurring. And risk factor management is critical. So risk factors for stroke are hypertension or high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, smoking, and obesity. And atrial fibrillation is another important one. So you will work with your doctor to be on medications to control your risk factors for stroke to prevent you from ever having another stroke. So again, if you recognize that you or someone you're with is having a stroke, call 911 and get to the emergency room as quickly as possible. TPA is tissue plasminogen activator. And it's the only FDA approved treatment for ischemic stroke, which is when a blood clot blocks the flow of blood in a blood vessel that supplies blood to the brain. And it works by dissolving the clot and improving blood flow. It's given by IV or intravenously, and it's given within three hours of the onset of stroke symptoms. So in some patients who are eligible to receive this treatment, it may improve their chance of recovery from stroke. This is why it is so important to recognize the signs of stroke and call 911 and get to the emergency room as quickly as possible to find out whether you may be eligible to receive this treatment. A stroke occurs when a blood vessel is blocked by a blood clot or ruptures and the blood flow to a certain portion of the brain is deprived and the brain cannot get the oxygen or nutrients that it needs. So the brain cells can die. The brain is a very complex organ and different portions of the brain control different functions in the body. So depending on what part of the brain is being affected by the stroke and being deprived of blood flow, you will have different stroke symptoms occur. So some of these can be aphasia or difficulty with speech, weakness or numbness on one side of the body, balance or vision problems. It's very important to recognize these symptoms right away because the sooner you get to the emergency room and are evaluated for treatment, the less damage will occur to the brain and the more recovery can occur. 
So as they say, time is brain. So if you or someone you're with develops such stroke symptoms, call 911 and get to the emergency room as soon as possible. While well, strokes are a leading cause of death, not all strokes are life-threatening. How you are affected by a stroke uh, depends on its location, its severity, and how fast you get treatment. The sooner you receive treatment, the less damage to the brain is likely to occur. It's interesting to note that stroke used to be the fourth leading cause of death in the United States. But with treatment advances, there is improved survival, and now it's the fifth leading cause of death in the United States. Well, as I discussed previously, a stroke is caused by an interruption of blood flow to a portion of the brain, and that can be either by a clot or if the blood vessel ruptures and leaks blood. And what's most important is to recognize the warning signs of stroke. These are all of sudden onset, they come on suddenly, and I want to bring up that acronym, Be Fast, one more time and ask you all to remember that, B-E-F-A-S-T. So B is for balance problems. E is for problems with your eyes, such as double vision, blurry vision, or loss of vision. F is for face, so a droopy face on one side could be a sign of stroke. A is for arm or leg, weakness on one side of the body in the arm or leg. S is for speech, so slurred speech, trouble getting words out, or not understanding what's being said. And T is for time, and that is so important. Time is brain. As soon as you recognize that you or someone you're with is having any of these signs of stroke or symptoms of stroke, call 911 and go to the emergency room as soon as possible so that you can be evaluated quickly and to see whether you are eligible to have any of the acute stroke treatments that are available to help improve survival from stroke and reduce disability and improve outcome. So again, be fast.